Johan Rojas is a center fielder in the Phillies organization. He is 21 years old, bats and throws from the right side, and has a great power speed combo. In this video, we are going to be breaking down Rojas and the skills he brings to the table. Before we get into this video, go follow my Instagram at chris.misco. On my Instagram, I'll be asking you guys what types of videos I should be doing and what they should be about. You guys picked Johan Rojas for the next prospect breakdown, so I'm delivering that request. So go follow me on there so you don't miss anything regarding my channel. Also, put down in the comments who you want to see next in this Phillies prospect breakdown series. Rojas spent most of the 2021 season in low A, but was called up to high A in the last month of the season for his amazing play. In 17 high ball games, Rojas hit for an average of 344, an on-base percentage of 419, and a slugging percentage of 563. Along with his batting line, he hit three home runs in those 17 games. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Johan Rojas has a great combo of power and speed. This power is going to be something that he will try and balance out throughout his career and make sure that he can use it more to hit more home runs. The speed that Rojas possesses is going to be key for him playing center field in the future. The Phillies were never known for being the most speedy of teams, but if they add Rojas into that lineup, they might get more stolen bases, which would lead to more runs. Another big thing that we have to focus on when we are talking about a young player is when they might hit in the order. Rojas has some of the fastest speed in the organization, so having him at the 1 or 2 spot makes a lot of sense. I really like the idea of him batting in the 2 spot, but if he cannot fine tune his power, he might just be a 7, 8, or 9 spot guy with amazing defense and speed. Now we have to talk about when we think Rojas will be ready for the big leagues. He is 21 years old right now, so he has plenty of time. In my opinion, I say the Phillies should try and let him improve as much as he can in the minor leagues in 2022 and try to climb the ranks to get closer to the MLB. If he can have a great season in the minors in 2022, Johan Rojas could be battling for a starting center field spot in 2023 with the Phillies' lack of MLB center field talent. That is going to do it for our second Phillies prospect breakdown. I hope you all enjoyed learning a little bit about an up-and-coming center fielder in the Phillies farm system in Johan Rojas. Rojas can make big leaps in 2022, and I really think he can be ready for MLB in 2023. Go follow me on Instagram at chris.misco and go follow me on Twitter at chris underscore misco so you don't miss any information for my videos. Thank you all for watching until the end and I'll see you in the next one.